Namaste, beautiful. Welcome to practice. So this class is not going to be a full sequence. I, after much consideration, have decided that I think that it makes sense to teach some of the classes in parts because I personally I don't like when a teacher stops the class to teach something. I also don't take a lot of classes and that's one of the many reasons for that but I try to teach uh, in a way that people who already know what the poses are don't get bored or frustrated. And I realize that that sometimes means leaving others behind. So I thought, okay, maybe a solution to that is that I can teach in pieces. And so for the more advanced practices moving forward, or at least right now, I will first teach it in, in pieces. And then after all of those videos are already up, then I will teach the entire class. And so then we will put it all together and we will do the full practice. So if you came here because you wanted a full practice, um, sorry. <laughs> I can, however, recommend that if you, do, if you want to do this as a part of your practice before, um, before doing something else or whatever, then please be sure that you are warmed up first. So no matter what, actually be sure that you are warmed up. So already I have put um, up what will come before this in the particular practice that I am teaching at the moment. So we will start with Sun Salutation A, move to Sun Salutation B, move to the entire standing sequence of the Ashtanga primary series and then we will go into what we're about to do together which hopefully I will remember I did it yesterday and then I rehearsed it in my head so hopefully I can remember so it is going to be a little bit more teaching so there might be times where I stop and teach something it might not go quite as flowy and that's why I'm doing this, so that it can be flowy when we do the full practice. I think that there is a lot of value in flowing through an entire practice. And it's just, it doesn't make sense if it is a vinyasa. Or because vinyasa, we're doing one breath, one movement, and you simply cannot be doing one breath, one movement, and also teaching all that there is to teach in those movements. It, it's just, it just doesn't work, right? So this is what I thought of as my solution at this point in time. If you have other suggestions for solutions, I would love to hear them. And yeah, because this is the first time that I'm doing it this way. And I hope that it ends up being helpful. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this part of the sequence. So at this point, uh, we would have already finished our, the, basically the entire Ashtanga primary series up until after um, Warrior 2. So the reason that I put those uh, the reason that I put all of that into this particular practice is for the purpose of grounding and focusing. So I actually first thought of this 
sequence, the sequence that will lead up to the, the peak sequence just kind of came into my body a few days ago. Actually, it was on the new moon. I was intending to do um, less of a practice that day and I put on even kind of slower music than usual and that's what happened in my body. And I was like, oh, awesome. I really want to teach this as a class. And then I was like, okay, well, let me put it together in a full practice. And then I thought, okay, I think actually what I want to be doing is combining tradition with this more modern style of like almost a dancing type of vinyasa. I enjoy to practice that way and the reason I'm here is to share my practice with you. So yes. All right. So we would have already done all that. I recommend that if you do not do all that, you at least do something to warm up before going into what we are about to go into. It's also possible that there will be slight differences when we do the entire thing together. All right. Okay. So, of course, we are still going to be taking a vinyasa to get us to uh, downward dog, and then we will go from there. All right. Here we go. We are in Samasatihi. We inhale. Arms up, looking at the hands. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Heart forward. Head up. Flat back. Exhale, plant the hands. Move it back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. And now we're going to work out the hamstrings a bit. So we're going to do that by, so we have done Ashtanga at this point, so we have done more static movement and now we're going to move into dynamic movement so we're going to inhale we're going to bring the right leg up into three-legged dog and then we're going to exhale we're going to bring it toward the nose and then we're going to inhale up and so uh when you're doing this um you can do it you can approach it in a couple of different ways so you can approach it such that you are thinking more about your alignment you're really thinking about keeping your hips square you're keep thinking about okay my um, my knee wants to be facing forward here. I don't want to be coming out. Or you can also be thinking of it as just trying to um, just dynamically work out the muscles. Right. So sometimes I'll be trying to keep my hips square, but oftentimes when I'm doing this particular kind of three-legged dog um, dynamic thing <laughs> i don't even know what we what we call this but it's it's quite common in classes right when i'm doing this then sometimes i kind of let go of my alignment a little bit to be more really getting the hips prepared okay so maybe play around with the different ways of doing it and see what feels good for you um I find after a couple rounds through of doing the kind of three-legged dog and knee to nose, knee to side, that the way that the, the hamstrings and the hips are open after that is quite significant compared to before. Yeah? Okay. So that being said, choose how you want to do it. We're going to inhale the right leg up. Exhale, bring the knee to nose. Inhale the right leg up. And then now we're exhaling, we're bringing our right knee to our left elbow. So we're um, coming forward with our uh, arms straight. We're a bit over the wrist with our shoulders here. And we have a nice kind of twist. And so then we're inhaling up again. Three-legged dog. Again, we're bringing our knee to our nose. And when we do this, we want to be coming quite far forward with our left foot. So sometimes we'll go even on to like the top of my big toe, but it's also gonna depend on how far back your left foot is from your hands, yeah? So again, play around with that. 
Okay, so then inhale up. And now we're coming to the outside of the right arm. So bringing our right knee to our right elbow. Inhaling back up. And then exhaling again, bringing our knee to our nose. And at this point, we're going to step forward with the right foot. So now our right foot is down. We have just exhaled. And now we're going to take an inhale and we're going to come up into a standing split. So inhale the standing split. Uh, standing split is one of my favorite uh, poses for uh, opening the hamstrings or for stretching the hamstrings. I find it to be a very safe way to do it as well. All right, so we're inhaling and then we're really pulling up with the left leg here. So we're using our muscles, we're using our glutes, we're using um, the strength of the left leg to pull it up. Okay? And so this is an inhale, we kind of, and then we'll exhale here. And then with an inhale, we're gonna come up to a warrior three. And so warrior three, then we're pretty straight here. Okay, so our arms are um, out in front of us. And our left leg is straight. And we do want our hips to be pretty square here. Yeah, so we've inhaled up to here. And then we're going to exhale. We're going to step down into a um, high lunge. So we're continuing to keep our hips square here. We reach our arms up for high lunge. So we have a nice right angle in our right leg. Our, we're up on the back of our toes. Our heel is pretty far over, or is like pretty directly over our toes. And we're inhaling here. And then we're gonna exhale and cactus the arms. And I really want for us to be um, concentrating on opening the heart as we do this. There's not too much heart opening in this particular sequence. So in the parts that there are, then I want us to be really concentrating on that. Yeah? All right. So exhale. And then we're gonna inhale, stand, and rotate and then exhale into a warrior two. And again, this is all vinyasa, right? So we're doing one breath, one movement when we do the actual practice. We're gonna inhale, reach over to the right, and then exhale, reaching into our reverse warrior. So you can either have the hand down here, I like to put it behind my back, and then uh, our shoulders are open, we're looking up. And then inhale, coming back to center. And then we're going to exhale up into a Ardha Chandrasana, into a half moon. Okay, so here then we have our hips are pretty open. Uh, so our hips are square to the side in Ardha Chandrasana, or in Half Moon. And then our right hand is reaching. I hover my hand. Um, <laughs> this was in one of the first yoga practices I ever did, starting when I was a kid, Rami Yi, and he hovered his hand, and I always hover my hand because of that. Anyway, uh, you can have your hand down. Um, you can have it onto a block. I think that the alignment of having my hand hovered feels the best in my body. Uh, I like that it allows for a straight line um, from the head to the left foot. Yeah? So if you can do it that way, that's what I do. Also, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> One of my favorite things to say. <laughs> okay, so we come into our Ardha Chandra something here. Uh, so we have um, exhale, inhale to our um, warrior two, and then we're going to inhale, we're going to stand up with our inhale to prepare us, and then exhale, we're going to come into the half moon. And then 
from here, we're going to inhale and come up. And then we're going to exhale, we're going to come all the way into a skandhasana, into a side lunge on the left side. And we're going to place our right hand down. We're going to take an inhale and rotate around so that we are in this uh, kind of our, on the blades of our feet. We're getting a nice stretch in our butt. Uh, our hip can be pretty lifted here. We're only here for a second. Uh, we continue the exhale and then step all the way back. Yeah. Okay, so we're exhaling here. Inhale. Exhale. Step. Okay, so then we're inhaling and we're going to come up to a wild thing from here. I don't know exactly what it's going to be when we do the full sequence. We'll either work out the back. I think we'll probably work out the back the first time. So um, we're going to come up five times. Usually I like to work out the back the first time. So one and then inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, three. Inhale up. I do have a class on Wild Thing. If you have any questions about Wild Thing, I'll link it here. Inhale up. And then I'm going to look down toward the right hand after the fifth one. And we're going to grab a hold of the left big toe. And then we're going to bring it into our side plank, our Vashistasana two, and then look up at the left foot, probably hold for five breaths, and then look down, and then we'll bring the left foot forward, and then we're going to do that same thing on the other side. So the same sequence that we just did, but now we're doing it on the other side and we're facing the other direction. So this is a full mandala class, okay? So now, again, we are coming into our standing split. So inhale here, exhale. Inhale, up to our warrior three. Exhale. Step the right foot down, coming into our high lunge with an inhale. Exhale, cactus the arms, really opening the heart here. Inhale, start to rotate. Exhale, come into warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, standing up onto the left foot and coming into our half moon. With it, this was the name. Okay, and so then we step back. And we come back into Skandasana on the right. Place the left hand down. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, step the right foot back. And then we're going into our wild things from here. So inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale, two. Inhale, three, inhale, four, inhale, we'll look down toward the left hand, rotate the left foot slightly so that um, you're on the outside of the left foot. Go ahead and grab onto the right big toes with the right peace fingers. And look up and hold five, four, three, two, one. Bring the right foot 
down this time and now we're going to come all the way into a low lunge. So we're going to continue to work out the hips and hamstrings here. We're going very deep in this class so we're going to take a long time to get to our deep places. Okay. Can't just like go deep, right? You have to go through all the shallow waters before we get to the deep ones. All right. And so sort of inhale up and then exhale, come back to half split. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale, exhale five, inhale, exhale six, inhale, exhale seven, inhale, exhale eight, inhale, exhale nine, inhale, exhale ten. All right, let's inhale back to um, our low lunge. We might only do five of them. I honestly just forgot. <laughs> I just kept counting. <laughs> okay. All right, but well, fine, whatever. We just get deeper into the hips that way, and that's what we want to. All right, so we're, yeah, we're just kind of working that out here, and then we're going to rotate. We're going to come into Skandasana again, and we're continuing to work out the, the hips, but also what a, par a purpose for what we just did, and also this, is that we're going to go quite deep into the knees later in the sequence, okay? So then we're going to come over. We're going to bring Skandasana over to our left. Inhale, back to the right. Inhale, back to the left. And now we're rotating. And then we're going to do the same thing on the left side. Okay, so you see how it's kind of like moving from the Ashtanga thing? <laughs> okay, so inhale. Exhale, we're doing 10 because we did it on the other side. Inhale. Exhale two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five, inhale, exhale six, inhale, exhale seven, inhale, exhale eight, inhale, Exhale, nine. Inhale. Exhale, ten. Inhale. Exhale, rotate, skandasana. Inhale. Exhale, to the right. Inhale. Exhale, to the left. Inhale. Exhale, to the right. And now we're going into goddess. So we're going to inhale up, exhale into goddess, and then I think we're probably going to hold for five breaths here. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so then we are going to inhale, we're going to come up, and we're going to rotate, and we're going to kick back into Chaturanga, okay? So inhale up, rotate around as if we're doing this uh, Ashtanga after the warrior twos, and come back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. And then we might come all the way up to standing and then come back here. Don't think we need to right now. Okay, and so then we are going on to 
and we're doing the same thing, but starting with the left foot. Okay, so we're going to move to the from the left to the right to the left to the right. Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Plus, place the left foot down. And then here we inhale up to a standing split. Pulling up with that right leg. Exhale here. Inhale up to a warrior three. Keeping the hips nice and square. Exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale up to high lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms, open heart, nice and big. Inhale, start to rotate. Exhale, find your warrior two. Make sure the hips are nice and square. Make sure the left knee is above the left heel. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, stand up onto the left leg. <laughs> and coming into half moon. I keep messing up my inhales and exhales when I try to teach slowly, which is why I usually just teach on time because then you can do it properly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we inhale, exhale. Okay, now we're inhaling, stepping onto the foot, and then we're exhaling and coming into half moon. And then inhale. And then we're going to exhale into our skandhasana. There it is. All right. Placing the left hand down. Inhale. Rotate around. Exhale. Step the right foot back. Inhale. Up to wild thing. And this time let's hold wild thing. Two. Three. Four. Five, and rotate around, and go ahead and grab onto that right big toe. Inhale, reach it up, it should feel a bit easier now. Look up toward the foot, holding. Five, four, three, two, one. Looking down at the left hand, bringing the right foot forward, and standing up into a standing split. Inhale, come up to a warrior three on the right leg. Exhale, step the left toes down. Inhale, coming up to high lunge. Exhale, really opening the heart as you cactus the arms. Inhale, exhale, Finding warrior two. Checking alignment. Inhaling, reaching the right arm forward. Exhaling to reverse the warrior. Inhaling back to center. Inhale, start to stand up on the right, on, yeah, on the right foot. And exhale, whoops, there's a mirror there. <laughs> Finding a heart, a half moon. Inhale and half moon. Exhale, come all the way back to Skandasana on the left. Inhale, and then we're going to come into a lizard, but with our, uh, our heel up and our toe on uh, our, the ball of our foot on the floor. And so you can either be here or you can come down to the elbows 
and then move it back and forth this way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and then we're gonna drop the knee, but we're gonna lift up the back foot. We're gonna take an inhale, we're gonna reach back, we're gonna grab hold of the right foot, and then exhale, we're going to pump it toward the glutes. So we're gonna pump it five times. Inhale as you come out, exhale as you pump toward. Three, four, five. Inhale, exhale, bring the foot down. Inhale, exhale, rotating back to Skandasana. Inhale, exhale, Skandasana on the right. Inhale, exhale, Skandasana on the left. Inhale, exhale, Skandasana on the right. And then we're going back to our lizard. So we're inhaling, coming to lizard on the right side now. So either our hands are down or our elbows are down. And then we are rocking two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop the or place the left knee down. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Start reaching the left foot back and up. Grab hold of the left foot. Exhale, push the left foot toward the left glutes. Inhale, come out. Exhale, push two, three, four, five. Inhale, release. Exhale, bring the foot down. Inhale, begin to rotate. Exhale, find your skandasana on the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, skandasana on the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, skandasana on the right. Uh, inhale to center. Exhale, skandasana on the left. Inhale to center. Exhale into goddess. Maybe you need to slide your foot forward like I just did. Holding goddess for five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, come up. And then place the hands and come into Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing. And exhale to downward facing. And then from there, we are going to move into... Um, a similar sequence, but that is slightly different, and I'm going to teach that in the next class. So you can go ahead and meet me there, or if you want to do something else now, uh, be my guest. Mm. Honestly, we did quite a bit, um, both as far as strengthening and stretching just now, so maybe you need to do a little bit more stretching before uh, calling it practice. I think also it would be fine if you just went into Shavasana from there if you want. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you for being here, for allowing me to guide you, for allowing me to share my practice with you. I hope to see you in the next class. Love and namaste.